We're still on The Breakfast and Plus TV Africa. Let's quickly look at what's happening with uh, the Nigerian, I mean, National Association of Nigerian Students as they roll out, you know, a new timetable for a nationwide protest. In the timetable signed by the president-elect of uh, the student body, NANS scheduled the protest to hold zone by zone from zone A to zone F with Abuja being the location for the final protest. The protests, which have already begun, uh, started in September, will run till October the 11, 2022, and after which uh, it will be a showdown at the end of the day where the president will lead the final protest to shut down Abuja, as it were. Now, NAS is protesting the prolonged strike action by the Academic Staff Union of Universities, and NAS had grounded activities of major highways in the country in the past one week, including the Murutala Mohammed High International Airport in Lagos uh, that happened on Monday uh, to protest against ASU and uh, ASU strike to press on their demands as well, and that's it. We have Akinte uh, Babatunde, who is uh, the vice president of NANS. He joins us right here. Good morning, Akinte. Good morning. All right. So quickly, can you bring us a speed with what's going on uh, with uh, the protests? Where, what, what, what's the next protest going to happen? Uh, with the schedule of activities, the next protest is supposed, is supposed to happen in Adamawa. That is the way the northeast at the international airport. I think so. It's supposed to happen there. But as we speak, we are we are contemplating and reviewing the court judgment towards us yesterday because we want to see as reaction to it, the official reaction to it, and to know if finally we are stepping down the agitation. Because what we want is them to open this school. So if ASU is going along with the decision of the court, the judgment of the court, which I believe we should do, then there is no reason to continue the protest. But if they are not, if they are telling us they will not open the school, I think we'll still have to sit down and review our, our actions to know the next kind of action for us as so, but, but just before perfect. my colleague comes in now, and I can tell you, uh, we noticed that uh, NANs have been very deliberate with, uh, you know, the airport. I mean, for instance, or transportation, uh, the, the roads particularly. Maybe you, you actually target several roads and all of that. And you have mentioned that there's a plan to, you know, be in a Damawa. Am I correct? Yes, yes, yes. Now, now you're talking about the airport. Why have you chosen, you know, to pressure the government using the airports and the major roads, the federal government roads? Because we believe the best way to get your actions and answer from them is to to calm the economic activities of the country, and that is why you see they were they were so pragmatic about their step, especially about going to the court, their actions towards it since we started grounding the roads and the airports. So we want to ground the economic activities. And that the best way to target is to target the movement of the people from one place to another. When the people start getting angry, then the rate of the people that will be communicating, that will be talking on this issue, will increase gradually. And the best way to get that reaction is the highway or the airport. The airport generated a lot of reactions. The best reaction so far in the issue of, in the issue of protests we've had in this country. So that is why we've identified the best way to hold the government responsible. And that is why we've said we are going to highway or the airport. So we see the highway affects the majority of the masses, even, are, even without affecting the airline at all. But the airport affects everybody, every one of us. So that is why we've seen we, are, we said we are going to guard all international airports around the country. All right. Uh, um... <laughs> There have been some developments in, in this uh, ASU strike situation in the last uh, 24 to 48 hours, in the last 48 hours, actually. Of course, I'm sure you're aware of um, the National Industrial Court uh, order to the lecturers to go return to the status quo ante, uh, go back to the classroom, basically. And also, I'm sure you're aware of uh, the uh, meeting and agreement reached between the leadership of the House of Representatives and the leadership of ASU, which 
of which the, the um, Speaker of the House of Reps will be presenting to President Buhari to see what can be done. He also wants to speak to um, uh, the financial uh, managers of the Federation to see what can be done. Um, looking at what is, what is on the table now, is your protest still uh, necessary? I have said earlier that our protest will, will be, will, our decision will be based on the decision of ASU. We want them to call off the side. We want them to obey the call, the law, the court order. Because we have to be selfish to some extent when it comes to the issue of our own body, which is the student. But at the other end, with what ASU is saying, when if ASU is resumed today, it's still not are the best interest of with the student with what they are saying. But as soon as I'm saying if they are going back to class, it's not, uh, they are not going back happily, the student will be affected, this or that. But to be selfish on our own part, we just want them to obey the order and open the school. So if they have opened the school, there is no need for further actions. But we, our actions is not based on what the Speaker House of Rep is doing or what the report he wants to give to the President or that they had seven months, they have seven months to do that. They have the past seven months to do that. So it's not based on what they are saying or what they want to do or the report they want to give to the president. But our action now is based on the, the, the court order that the court gave to the ASU, to give to ASU yesterday. So in those cycles, tell ASU to resume pending the termination of the suit. So if ASU is to come back and resume now, then we don't have any, any reason to continue our action. But, but, but if not what, what, what if, if Asu, Asu refuses saying, to go back to the classroom in if Asu obedience? If Asu refuses yeah. to go back, then we now have to sit down. We are going to sit down as a body to review our activities, to be more pragmatic about it. But there's no way we can rule out our activities, our actions. There's no way we can rule it out if the schools are not being opened. Because we will now have to press more further on both the Asu and the federal government to know how they can resolve this and open our institutions. So, so in all of this, you're saying that what, uh, you know, Nance is for, standing for, and has been protesting for, is that the school should just, you know, be opened. That's what you're about. Not just the school to be opened. So it's and not that you're on the side said, of the government or on the side of ASU. You're just on the side that the school should be open, whether or not the agreements have met, have been met. But I'd like to ask you, uh, if you look at some of the issues that ASU have actually put on ground, I mean, they have talked about agreements from way back, uh, from 2009, uh, revitalization, allowances, and what have you. And these issues, if you, if you look at you know, the state of our universities, uh, they are actually you know, real. So um, what are the thoughts or what's the position of Nance in the situation with all of this now? I have, I have said it earlier. You see, in the Constitution, Section 14, of Section 2, it stated it clearly that the federal government should provide for the referism of teachers and to provide a basic and a basic good, good a basis of of education for us in the country. So the federal government have failed in that. That is why we are having this strike. It is not just about uh, the school being open. We said proper funding of education is part of our education. But since the court is coming from this angle and saying as we should open and return back to school, I said it earlier that even we know that this judgment is still going to work against the students. Because if you are bringing back on happy lecturers to classroom, but, but do you they think are that they... lecturers. Go ahead. You are bringing my lecturers that are not happy, that are not being fed, that are not glad. Even the, 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 the environment, if they are not conducive for us to study, it is still going to go back to the students. But we don't, we don't know, we did not want it to appear as if we are telling us what to do or we are making decisions for us. But majority of our, our, our decision and our work, we are in solidarity with us on this, on this issue. Because some of the agitations have to do with the students. So do, do you think it's we okay? Do you think it's okay for you know ASU to uh, go ahead and you know get back to the classroom without the government meeting uh, the demands? I mean, these are this is an agreement that has been uh, since two thousand and nine. And what have you? Do you think it would be okay for ASU to go back to the classroom? 
No, it's not okay and it's not fair. But you're asking that the, the classroom should just be open. That's what your protest. What I am about. saying is that this is a this is a this is a case of law. In a situation like this now, the a, 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 a judgment has has come. And we does we did not want to hear they want to decide for Asu what to do. But Asu, it is a, it to be selfish on our interest, to be selfish on our side. Students want to go back to school. And I'm telling you what majority of the students are saying. They are tired of sitting at home. You know this, we know the country we are, you know we students, we Nigerians, we tend to adapt with many of the situations the government has shown at us. So students don't even mind. Many of them don't even mind what the, uh, the what the environment what we have to with us. Some just want to go back to school. But to us, we really want the education to be funded properly. We want majority of the of the agreement signed in, uh, with us to be reached. But it is not in our power. All right. And we cannot say. Okay. Yeah, we, we, we're out of time. Very quickly, I think you were speaking to that. Very quickly, if you go back to school, uh, if the lectures obey. The, the court order, and they refuse to teach you. Like the uh, chairman has said, the president of us, you can force a horse to the river, you can't force it to drink. What will lands to? Just very quickly, briefly. And that is, not the, that is where the biggest problem will be. For instance, let me tell you, majority of us joining this protest are for now, majority of us are those that are really determined that are not, many parents are not allowing their students, students to come outside. Their children to come outside to join. So by the time you bring people grow up, uh, away from their parents to school, and you are not teaching them, last week, lecturers are not teaching them, then it will give us more strength to agitate and to protest, and that is when federal government will know what they've done. All right. So All to right. us, it's a win-win matter. Akinta, thank you so much for your time, and uh, we'll do some more talking with you as uh, events unfold. We appreciate you joining us, and stay safe. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, he's the vice president of National Association of Nigerian Students. Some message is quite an interesting one. You know, you know the song played in my head. You know the song by Nkemo, the Nigerian actor. Uh, agreement is agreement, yeah. <laughs> <It> <laughs> agreement always... <laughs> is agreement, yeah. <laughs> it's, no, but, it's, but you know, I, I, I really, I mean, as much as a lot of persons are very, uh, you know, in support of what's going on with, uh, I mean, Nans, some people are saying, what do you expect them to do? Get to the street and protest. And but not, my concern yeah. here is, on whose side are they on? Because, I mean, you can't be on both sides. We That's need, really it. I know we go. need to go. We but the question go. is, on whose side is Nant on? Agreement. Are they on the No, it's but you agreement. ask the question. If they get back to the classroom and the lecturers refuse to lecture, what happens? No, they've said it already. Yeah. So the students <laughs> will have to be the ones who decide what they're going to do. <laughs> All right. That's the size of our package. Um, you can follow us online. Um, on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram at Plus TV Africa, on YouTube at Plus TV Africa and Plus TV Africa Lifestyle. We have all our, our videos and live streams up on our YouTube channel. My name is Kofi Bartels. And I am Messi Ibuko. Thanks for staying with us.